Team you lot, greetings. Right, we're in the second week of lockdown and we're just getting on with it. So this is something you can make with stuff you've already got in your cupboard, probably. Um, it's a very, very, very flexible recipe. I'm going to show you how to make pan haggerty or pan tea or any other of a million different ways of spelling it. Some shout outs before we start, one for all Aussies everywhere, that was requested by Erica Groot, and to my new Patreon fans, Tony Howard and John Hare. So I've had quite a few requests for this over the years, but I've not done it because I've been a bit unsure about what to do. I can't now find any of those requesters, except for a recent one, which was Billy William Ray. Re? Ray? Don't know. Whenever I do a regional recipe, there's always going to be somebody, or you know, somebody and all his mates saying that's wrong that's not how you do it i can hand on heart say here i don't care um there's a million different ways and variations of doing this so it comes from the northeast of england as do i so i'm entitled to do what the hell i like with it however my mother used to make it she was born well i was born in county durham she was born and raised in county durham and panacalty or as i always heard it as fanacty <laughs> um was always on the menu uh, but I can't actually remember exactly what was in it so I asked uh, someone else who might know my sister and she says she makes it with bacon now I, I remember it having corned beef um, I'm, I'm absolutely sure it's got corned beef in it it might have had bacon as well anyway I've scoured the internet and I think we've actually got two different meals going on here we've got Pan Haggerty from Northumberland and possibly Cumbria and North Lancashire, which is a vegetarian one. It's potato, onion, cheese. So that's Pan Haggerty. Panacalty is from Sunderland and County Durham, right? And this has leftovers of meat in it, so it would have bacon, it might have sausages, um, it might have whatever, it might have, you know, your leftover spuds from Sunday dinner. But it would also have, you know, a can of corned beef, so anyway, I'm wondering, whatever it is, it'll be delicious. And if you enjoy this video, give it a like, share, subscribe, become a patron, make a donation, etc. Right, let's uh, do it. Okay, ingredients for my panacity. <laughs> Look, can we just agree what I'm going to call it? I'm going to call it panacity. Okay, panacity. Uh, and yeah. So I've got four grotty old lockdown potatoes. I've got a can of corned beef that's 340 grams, which is a peculiar amount. An onion, 50 grams of butter, salt and pepper to taste, and a half a litre of beef stock made from stock cubes. Don't make it from real stock, it's not right. And some bacon. I've got this pack of, well, bacon offcuts, but it's actually got this magnificent slug of, um, you know, a half inch thick bacon rasher, which I will cut into lardons. Uh, obviously in the olden days, um, uh, you'd have been shot if you, were, if you said you were going to use a lardon, because nobody would have understood what you meant. Do you see what I did there? I just told you you can do anything you like in this recipe, more or less, and then turn around and say, you can't use real beef stock, because that would be wrong. What a contradictory and enigmatic person I am. I'm sorry. Peel and slice the potatoes. Yeah, <laughs> did my weekly shop yesterday. Completely forgot to get potatoes, because I thought we had a big bag full, and it turns out we've got you know, these. <laughs> Not to worry, there's always pasta and rice and good stuff like that. So slicing you want about five millimetres, quarter of an inch. And we need to peel and slice the onion and then half moonify them. So the slice is about the same as the potatoes. I'm going to chop the bacon into dice, lardons. <laughs> uh, just get the, the rindy bit off, off the edge here.
and get the uh, corned beef out of the ridiculous can. I can't believe they're still making these things like this. It's just uh, it's the only product that comes in a can like this. I don't know why. Oops. But I do know that they, when you use this, you want to be very careful because it leaves lethally sharp edges on the cut ends of the tin. Oh yeah. So we'll just slice this. And now you want to get your oven heated to 180 Celsius for a fan oven. That's 200 for a conventional one, and gas on the screen. We did a live stream the other day, and uh, somebody asked me a very interesting question, which was, can you or do you imagine what things are going to taste like uh, as you're building them, before you get to taste them? And the um, simple answer is yes. <laughs> and I've just been doing that, and I'm thinking, what this probably needs is a little bit of tomato, puree you know this this would primarily be a, a meaty flavored dish rather than um, a tomato -y flavored dish uh, but I think that will just give it a little lift you know not traditional at all now cooking this again lots of different ways you can do it you can do it on the stove top just you know fry off your various elements assemble them in a pan um, cook them slowly for a long time. I'm going to do it in the oven and actually you could do it all day long in uh, a slow cooker crock pot kind of thing. An hour and a bit in the oven will do it. So ah, I, want to, I wanted to use my cute little um, casserole dish which I got recently and I barely used because it's too small <laughs> but I've still got the massive one so I'll just put it all together in there and I'll start off with a layer of potatoes, then some onion. The layering isn't really critical, it's just a way to get everything kind of distributed all the way through. And some bacon, and then half of the corned beef. And we'll put some dabs of butter in there on the Mostly on the potatoes. Pepper. Some salt. And then do that all again, but save some of the spuds to make the top layer potato. Can anybody spot the massive cheat that went on while you weren't looking? <laughs> Didn't have enough spuds, so um, I got another big one and peeled it and sliced it and stuck it in. Okay, so now we need to cover this in liquid. So, just pour on the stock. Oops, don't do that. And nowhere near enough there, so I'm going to top it up with boiling water. Alright, and now just um, <laughs> dab the rest of the butter over the potatoes, the ones that aren't submerged under water. Okay, we'll give it a final grind of black pepper. Sprinkle of salt. And then cover it tightly with a lid. If you haven't got a lid that fits properly, uh, cover it in uh, aluminium foil. And we'll put that in the oven and give it one hour. Okay, it's had an hour, so we'll take it out and see how it's doing. Whoa, bubbling away, the bubbly thing. I've got to tell you, it smells amazing. The touches are cooked. Yep, they are. So now we'll put that back in with the lid off. Uh, for about 15 minutes and it should, well, the spuds on the top should go brown and crispy 
I've actually got too much gravy in there. I wonder if I can, yeah, I think I'll take a bit of it out. Okay, I'll put that back in for 15 minutes. Right, there we go. And that looks a bit magnificent. I did cheat, I put the grill on the broiler for about the last 10 minutes just to make sure it browned properly and it has and it looks grand so I'll just take its photo and then we'll have the taste test and now it's taste test time with Mrs Keith Cook <laughs> oh, <dearie. laughs> hello Dolly oh, oh. petal <laughs> He's been in here and I've been in there. You know, it's not as if we haven't seen each other for ages, but I wasn't allowed to talk to him before because he had yeah, work to do. No, 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 no. It affected your continuity. We can't have that. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Try it now. Yeah, it's not bad considering. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh no, that's fantastic. <laughs> I've probably said before that I don't really like solid things in liquid. I oh. prefer it, it thicker in a sauce. But Keith's done a few things lately that Changing I'm beginning to just maybe see the light on that one. Don't mind if you don't like it. Mm. Yeah, that is all right. Mm. <laughs> that is proper peasant comfort food. It really is actually. And we are proper comfortable peasant. <laughs> we? we had hail yesterday. <laughs> Only for about five minutes. Did you tell them? No. Yeah. Hail. <laughs> mm. No. Last Wednesday, I had a break in the afternoon. No, was it Wednesday? It was Thursday. I had a break in the afternoon. I went and sat out in the garden with my eyes shut and felt the sun's rays and it was lovely. I even had some freckles by the time I came back in. They've gone now. They have. Because we had hail yesterday. What can you do? So, um, yeah, Keefe. Another Triumph Herald. Or just Triumph. <laughs> Swallow. <laughs> no. You know, food memory, that is exactly how I remember it being when my mother made it. So what do you call this? Fanaculty. <laughs> Fanaculty. Fanaculty. Except I thought it's it, like with a... an F, but it's probably with a P. It's Panaculty. 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 But there's another version from further north, from Northumberland, mm. called Panhaggerty. Oh, I've which heard also of gets compressed into Panaculty. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, that makes sense. Which seems to be different. It's potato and onion and cheese and not normally meat. Oh, right. Okay. Um, yeah. So. Well, not, not having grown up with your mum's cooking, I think it's really, really nice. But I would add a little bit of horseradish. <sighs> bit of tang. Yeah, okay. That'll be so. It's not faulty. Or some handos. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> mm. Yeah, each to their own. I think this one's a success. Oh. Right, we'll have to go before mm. we're fighting over the remains of the bowl. Run out of film. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> mm. So, thanks for watching and. Mm. Oh, it really see is. You. Very nice. It see you. No, no, no. I wish to take it back. What? Well. You like it? No, I liked it anyway, but like the, the, the corned beef. Mm. I was thinking this needs a little bit of something, but what it needed was me to have a few more mouthfuls so that all the flavour comes through. Okay. Yeah? The number right. of times we finish taste test time, camera's off, and then it, it's like everything blooms and you go, oh, let's get them back on again so they can see. <laughs> <laughs> but it's true, yeah. So, mm -hmm. absolutely. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it doesn't need anything. Okay. Thank you for watching and see you next time.